today we are going to discuss about the detailed steps to prepare an account reconciliation within Blackline application. Once the user logs into the Blackline, this is the home screen that appears in front of the screen. And the make sure that the user is logs into the preparer role. And then from the left navigation bar, click on the products. And then under the account section, click on view reconciliations. Once the view reconciliation is there, the reconciliation grid appears in front of the screen with all the details of the account reconciliation. From the, the first thing we need to ensure that from the right corner, top right corner, click on the arrow and ensure that the, we have the reconciliations under my assignments or, uh, selected over there. So if it is not there from the drop down, selects the reconciliations only and other and in the second option selects the my assignments. I have selected the team assignment as nothing is assigned in my name. The third thing is to select the template field. Today we are discussing about the temp journal template information. So let's first filter out what are the journal template information. So there are different fields that can be added to the reconciliation grid. So the first uh, column that we want to add is the template column. So type on the template. Once you select, start typing the template, the template option starts appearing over there and then select the option and click on apply. So once you the template option is selected, it appears on the right hand side, the list of the fields and the template information starts appearing on the grid. And you can drag and drop these field information as per your convenience like I'm dragging it upwards so that it come in front of the uh, front of my eyes. So I have dragged it into the as the fourth column. Once it is done, close the uh, the same arrow on the top right corner to, uh, to close the pane. Once it is done, you have all the accounts uh, with all the information. First, let's filter out the template journal list. So we, I have filtered all the templates uh, with the journal list in front of me. Click on the edit off button to, uh, to get into the reconciliation screen. So once we get into the reconciliation screen, so this is the home screen of the journal list template. It gives the account information to which entity this account pertains to, what is the number of the account and what is the description of the account. The second is the supporting line items. Uh, the supporting line items are the open items that you, the user at the preparer will be creating to complete the reconciliations. The third is the unidentified difference. This difference is uh, for the journalist template. It is majorly the difference between the supporting line items as well as the journal ba GL balance. So until and unless you can see it's 100% currently. So until and unless it is not zero, the unidentified difference, the user will not be able to proceed. That this is the GL balance on below the unidentified difference. This is the GL balance, which is coming from the ERPs. There are different ERPs where the journals are posted and where the transactions are entered. So this balance is coming from the GL balance. Uh, the, the GL balance is coming from the ERP. The, how this GL balance is coming into the black line that we will discuss in some other video. So then there is an option to add the comments and the supporting documents relating to this uh, reconciliations. Let's go through them one by one in more detail when the first is the view account information. So this is the kind of a permanent account information for this account, which is which exists in the black line and a kind of a permanent uh, and attached to this uh, account reconciliations. So here, if you can see, uh, it can be fairly understandable that this account is in what currency, okay? And there is the risk rating assigned to every account. Here you can see it is low and the different kind of information you can see about this account in this account and who is the assigned preparer and who is the approver uh, for the workflow uh, for this account. And then you can see there is the company policy and the purpose. This is the one time information which uh, which the preparer is required to put into the uh, for this reconciliation so that next time if a, any other preparer wants to see this information can be visible. And along with that, enter the reconciliation procedures like how the this particular reconciliation procedure is completed. 
once all this information is filled in click on apply and once uh, this uh, uh, apply button is clicked it gets saved on uh, into this reconciliation for all the future periods and in all the upcoming every month uh, the preparer will be able to see and edit this reconcil uh, this information which is added into this account information the second thing uh, while entering the reconciliation is to add the supporting line item so to in order to do that click on the right on the right button click on this add supporting item hyperlink so once it is uh, clicked this add item page will uh, appear in front of the screen wherein you have to enter the multiple values like transactions amount uh, once in one column, if you enter the transaction amount, the rest of the three columns will be auto populated. The second is the item class. It is a very important radio button that needs to be selected. We will discuss about in uh, about this in detail in the next upcoming videos. I have selected the list component. The second, the third is the origination date origination date it is pre-defaulted uh, however if you have the supporting document which has the different date which is not there lies in this particular month it can be changed to that the rest is the optional uh, information and the last is the description description uh, it's kind of a very important which gives the information about what is this supporting uh, uh, document uh, supporting information or sub open item all about so once it is done, click on the save option. And as you can see, I have added the two supporting items uh, on the on the page of the home screen. So so once it is done, uh, you can either, either add it manually the way we have done right now, or you can also import all the open items. If you have any more than five or more than 10, then you can import it through Excel and which we will discuss in the upcoming videos. And the, uh, the last thing is, if you can see it here, once I have added the supporting items, my unidentified difference has made out to zero. Since it is the zero percentile and I have provided all the supporting items, which is matching to the GL balance. Now I can proceed to, uh, to adding of the comments. This comments, it's like adding the more storyline to this uh, reconciliation so that when the approver looks into the reconciliation, it can be easily visible to them. So I've added the, the, uh, the comments like additional deposits made during this month. So this deposit, you can either make it as a temporary so that it won't carry forward to the next future period or with the second option, you can uh, make it to the visible to the next uh, periods also. Once it is done, click on save. And once it is saved, then you can see the comment is appear on my screen on the reconciliation screen. Similarly, you can add the supporting document as well as the hyperlink related to this reconciliation. And then the last thing is the optional certification statement. This is the point on the pointer system wherein the, your organization wants to understand that the reconciliation that you have just prepared is in accordance with the policies and everything what you have done is in, in a correct manner. So once it is done, you can see that uh, the certify button is enabled, which was not enabled earlier. Once the unidentified difference is uh, zero, from 100% once all the supporting line items have been created, the user can click to certify and in this way your reconciliation is completed. Feel free to ask and put in your comments if in case you have any kind of questions. Thank you so much.